Welcome to another episode of the Lone Recruiter Podcast. I'm your host, Brett Clemenson. And if you're a recruiter out on your own or just lacking general advice or mentorship, you've come to the right place. Our episodes are designed to give you the motivation, the strategies, and the support you need to become the very best Lone Recruiter. So join us. Grab a cup of coffee. I do not have one with me. I'm sure you do. And let's take your desk to another level. Now, what can we learn from the game of poker? I'm sure I've done an analogy on this before, but... I am currently, I've been sick over the last couple of weeks and it coincided with school holidays. So what else do you do but you teach your 8 and your 10-year-old how to play poker? What else do you do? And when you're teaching the game of poker, you very quickly realise there's two games afoot, right? You have one, the cards you're dealt, right? And that's the game the kids see. But then that's that second layer to the game of poker, which is really quite conceptual, which is, you're really just trying to play the other people opposite you and play play the game of trying to steal everyone's chips, right? So a, there's two games going on with the game of poker, and it's a great analogy for life because it literally is you get dealt a deck of, a, 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 you get dealt two cards. They could be great. They could be crap. The reality is, and this is the hardest part to teach kids, you could have pocket aces. You could have two aces, the two best cards in the game, and still lose the game. Still lose that round, which I saw happen last night. And um, you could also have the worst cards dealt to you. But hey, you can still win that round. It is not the hand you are dealt. It is how you play the game. And I know that that almost sounds cliche, but it's something that's happening in my household at the moment. But I'm really, really enjoying this analogy. I'm really enjoying uh, apply, like teaching, using this to teach the kids the metaphor of life. It's not the card you dealt, it's how you play the game. And honestly, like you can bring that back to your desk today. You might be on a shitty run. You might be being dealt a shitty hand of candidates, of workflow, of market, of interactions, whatever, whatever, whatever. But I'm guessing you've got something. I'm guessing you have been dealt a hand of some sort. And it might be stuff outside of life. It might be being dealt shitty hand with family at the moment. You might be getting dealt a shitty hand with whatever, whatever, whatever. Equally, you might be sitting on a really fucking great set of cards at the moment. You might have a great pile of candidates. You might have a great pile of of job orders. You might be surrounded in an A-team or whatever. And I would still say that the same... Uh, adage applies. It is how you play that hand that matters. That is all that matters because you can get too big for your boots. You can think, you can count your your, your eggs before they hatch and you can think you're going to make these placements and get cocky and you miss a step in the process and it all fall, falls apart at the end. Flip side, you can have a really, really bad desk, but if you make, you know, make the most of it, then um, it doesn't matter. It's how you play that game. And how often have you seen recruiters in crappy times still do really bloody well? And you think, how the hell do they scrap and scrape and get by and make this work in such a hard market and therefore flip it, see av- like average recruiters with so much gold on their desk really just make it turn to dust because they didn't know how to play that hand in front of them. So the question for you today is, have you got a good hand? Have you got a bad hand? Are you going to be playing defense today? Or are you going to be playing offense? Are you going to be going in for the kill? Like, think about it. Just think about it. When you're feeling shit about yourself today because you've got a bad hand, just think, no, nah, I've, I've got a hand. At least I've got a hand. What are we going to do with it today? How are you going to play it today? Sit down, take a breather, think for a few minutes now, what can I do with this candidate? Can I find, is there anything more I can squeeze out of this candidate? Anyone else who needs to meet that person? Any more holes I need to plug with this person? And then, and then flip it. Have you got briefs on? What have you done? What haven't you done? What can you go back on? Like, let's squeeze the life out of this hand and let's just make the most of it. Like, it is literally up to you to make the most of your hand. And if you're not doing that, who can you blame? You can blame yourself. That's all I have time for you today. Please like, share, subscribe. It's, it really does help us grow. As always, have an amazing day. May all your deals and hands of cards come true.